hello welcome back to my youtube channel my name is d and today we're going to learn how to make a spiral granny square uh this is what we are going to be making today it's super duper easy to make once you get the hang of it all you need to do is pay attention and listen to what i'm saying and everything will be voila so you're going to need four colors or as many colors as you want for this project but if you are a beginner i recommend that you start with these four colors so um what we're going to do um we are going to be using one strand of each color at a time as i'll be showing you in the tutorial you're going to need some pair of scissors to cut the strands and you will need a hook that uh, that your yarn recommends. I'll be using a 4.5 and you'll also need a tapestry needle to help weaving your ends. So the yarn I'm using is called Seal. It's a three ply chunky yarn that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So grab your materials and let's get started. So to get started, you're going to make a knot you can make this in the easiest way you know how to because it's so many different ways on how to do this so you're going to insert your hook and then you're going to chain up through rather four so chain four and then you're going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain to form a ring or a circle like that so we're going to be working into that small circle that you see in there small loop and then you're going to chain one the chain don't count as a stitch and then you're going to make a single crochet into the loop so insert your hook and make a single crochet and next you're going to make a half double crochet and then make two double crochets all in that same circle that's one and two and once you get to this you're going to pull this loop up because you're going you're going to need this later so what I like to do is every color that I'm using I like to put it in front now this is my second color so I like to put this next here so that it don't get tangled up with the first color so once you have this like this done you're going to insert your hook and attach your second color and loop it through and then you're going to chain one again the chain one don't count as a stitch so that's the chain one and then you're going to go in that same space and make a single crochet And then make a half double crochet and then make two doubles two double crochets and after that you're gonna pull this out like that so you don't lose it then you can try to extend this at the back because we still have to work into this Okay, so I'm done with the pink now and I put it here I'm going back to this color now make a knot insert your hook and repeat what we just did That first one is just to say cure the yarn so 
chain one the chain don't count as a stitch again in the circle you're going to make one single crochet then make a one half double crochet and then make two double crochets and then you're going to pull this out like that okay so we're done with this color now and I'm now going to use this pink make a knot and attach it make one single crochet rather one chain sorry and then in this same space you're going to make one single crochet and then make a half double crochet and then two double crochets and pull this out like that and at the end of it your work should be looking like this I know we have all these loops going on but this is how it's done and there's no other way I know how to do it so you just have to know which colors you're working with and we're going to be working in circles so if you're done with this it means you're going to the next one once you're done with that you go to the next so now we just completed with this pink and I'm going back to this color here so I'm gonna put this aside so what you're going to do is put that loop, loop back on your hook and what you're going to do at this point you're going to make two double crochets into the next four stitches so you're going to put two double crochets on top of the uh, single crochet skip the chain but make two double crochets into this the first single crochet so place the two double crochets two double crochets into the next two double crochets into the next then you're gonna pull this hold this so that you can work into this very last stitch and place the two double crochets okay and then once you get to that you can pull this out so you don't lose it and now we're off to using this pink color again so put your hook back on and you're going to repeat what we just did here make two double crochets on top of the next four stitches And once you get to that end you're going to pull this out like that and now we're going to use this next color loop it back on your hook and repeat this same process yarn over and make two double crochets on top of the first stitch which is a single crochet so place the two double crochets 
and make two double crochets on top of the next stitches for this pink color that we have here. So this is the very last one for pink. Place there two double crochets and pull this out. And now we're going to work with this pink color. Once you get to this, what you're going to do is make two double crochets on top of the next four stitches starting with the first single crochet you made so you're going to yarn over make two double crochets into the next just like what we we've been doing with the rest for this row so make two double crochets on top of the next four stitches Pull this out and your work should be looking like this at this point. This is what you should be having. You're going to loop back on that stitch and what you're going to do here is make one double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch that same stitch you're placing there too. Then one into the next, then two into the next. One double crochet into the next, and then two double crochets into the next. One double crochet into the next, and then you're going to make two double crochets into this very last stitch of our pink color and then pull this out and that's how it should look and now we're going to this next color here loop it back on your hook And you're going to do to make what we just did here so yarn over make one double crochet two double crochets into the next one double into the next and two into the next and you're going to repeat this So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, until you get to the end of that color. So one into the next, and then end the row with two double crochets into that very last stitch for that particular color that you're using. And then you can pull this out. Then use the next color, loop it back on your hook. Yarn over, make one double crochet into the next, two into the next. Then one double crochet into the next, two into the next,
pull that out and at this point your work should be looking like this so we're now going to use our pink here which is this one put this aside make one double crochet into the next so you're going to repeat that uh, because as you can see this is longer now so you're going to make one double two double one double two double into the next eight stitches so that's one double into the next make two make one into the next two into the next one into the next and then two into the next this is the last one so at this point this is what you should be having so we just completed with this pink color and now the next thing we're going to do is use this other next color for our very last row and what you're going to do here um, you're going to make a triple double crochet so you're going to yarn over twice and make a triple double crochet into the next stitch yarn over twice again and make two triples into the next like in the same stitch so that's one chain one yarn over twice back in that same space you're going to make a triple so this is going to be the corner of our this is the first corner of our um, green square just like what we have we have four corners here so that's what we have started to create here so you're going to yarn over twice again and into the next stitch you're going to place there another triple yarn over into the next make a double crochet and into the next you're going to make a half double crochet and into the next stitch you're going to place there a single crochet and into the next you're going to make a slip stitch chain one and you can cut that yarn off but if you want to make it bigger you will have to repeat that row of two one two one two one two one until it's big enough to where you want it so now we're done with this so we're going to the next one which is this pink color So just like what we did here you're going to yarn over twice and make a triple double crochet yarn over twice pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two chain one yarn over twice in that same stitch pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two we do that one more time pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two and then into the next you're going to make one double crochet into the next you're going to make one half double crochet and into the next you're going to make one single crochet and end it with a slip stitch then chain one and cut that yarn off as well 
so far we now have our two corners as you can see so now we're off to this next color you're going to yarn over twice and make a triple a triple is uh, yarn over twice pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two yarn over twice again into the next stitch pull through two pull through two and pull through the last two then chain one and make a second triple in that same stitch and one more time make a triple and then a double crochet then a half double crochet and then a single crochet into the next stitch and then a slip stitch chain one cut that cut that yarn off as well now we have our three corners off to our very last one loop that back on your hook yarn over twice into the next stitch make a triple double crochet and into the next stitch make a triple chain one yarn over twice and make your second triple in that same stitch yarn over twice make a triple double crochet into the next and then a half double crochet I'm sorry that's a double a full double crochet not half then yarn over into the next make a half double crochet into the next make a single crochet and then a slip stitch into the next check chain one and cut that off as well and that is how you make a spiral granny square so use your yarn needle to weave in your ends and don't forget to pull this strand up so that it can close the middle part a little bit uh, I made this tutorial as a sample for my next tutorial because we're going to be using spiral granny squares for my next tutorial which is going to be a top so if you want to check it out I will leave the link to the tutorial in the description box below and yeah and continue with the project so yeah thanks for watching see you in my next video bye